Pets Idol Neanderthals were absolute freaks of nature description. Forget the caveman stereotype. Neanderthals were stronger, faster, and tougher than any human alive today, possessing abilities that would seem superhuman to us. Script, your average Neanderthal could kill a lion with a wooden spear. Let that sink in. These weren't just hairy cavemen, they were built different. Picture a modern bodybuilder, but denser. Their bones were thicker, their joints larger, their chests were massive barrels holding enormous lungs. This let them sprint at high speeds for long distances, chasing down giant ice age beasts like woolly rhinos and mammoths. Their strength, it was off the charts. A Neanderthal's grip could crush bone. Seriously. Studies of their hand bone show muscle attachments. So powerful they could have likely snapped the hand of a modern human with a handshake. They weren't just strong, they were explosive. Think of a chimpanzee's raw power packed into a human-like frame. These wasn't just for show. They lived in a world of constant danger. Every hunt was a close quarters battle to the death. They regularly suffered and survived injuries that would kill us today broken bones. Skull fractures, even stab wounds from horns and tusks. Yet they healed, scarred but alive. They weren't just brutes either. V had brains as big as ours, maybe bigger. They created tools, made art, and buried their dead with care. But physically, they were on another level. They could withstand freezing temperatures with far less protection than we'd need. Thanks to a high-speed metabolism that burned calories like a furnace, V. This also meant they had to eat a massive amount of meat every single day just to fuel their supercharged bodies. Imagine trying to outrun one. You wouldn't stand a chance. Imagine trying to fight one. It would be over before it started. We often think of ourselves as the pinnacle of evolution, but for 300,000 years, these absolute units ruled the planet. They were the original soup too. What other prehistoric giants could put us to shame? You'd be surprised.